The Main Street Bridge Replacement Project in Lynchburg is expected to start this week. That's all part of an effort to revitalize the downtown area. And 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant joins us live from that area tonight. So Magdala, have they, they actually haven't started constructing yet, have they? No, they haven't, John. Um, if you could see behind me, they have employees here on standby who have placed road closed and sidewalk closed signs up. Now, before they can officially close this bridge, they had to post detour signs throughout the town and on Highway or Expressway 29. I spoke to people who say that this closure will be an inconvenience, but it's needed. Lynchburg's Main Street Bridge was built in 1954. Since then, it's been the gateway into the downtown area. Downtown is growing real good, and the population down here, you can see for yourself, is steady getting bigger and bigger. And so it's, everybody needs it. It's going to hurt from the start, but you'll get over it. What he means is getting over the inconvenience drivers and pedestrians will have once construction for the Main Street Bridge begins. The life of the bridge and the condition of it has exceeded itself. Uh, we're doing improvements for the horizontal and vertical clearance, so it's under height according to federal standards. And uh, the beams underneath, the girders, if you will, have been struck several times by overheight vehicles. As part of revitalizing downtown Lynchburg, rebuilding the bridge is a step that had to be taken. As detours to help, drivers can go through the Kemper Street interchange, Gray Street exit, or the Madison Heights 210 interchange. 29 itself will never be totally closed. It will be restricted to one lane in each direction so we can do the work, but uh, never closed. The new brick bridge is expected to be 110 feet long. You've got a combination of different aspects on the bridge will tie into our existing structures downtown. The city and the state are splitting the cost of $6.7 million, which they believe is worth the money. It's an inconvenience to the traveling public, but in the long run, I think you're going to have a wonderful bridge that's going to be here for another 80 years. City officials say they expect the bridge to be complete by November 2018. Live in Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.